doing, guys? I, I grew up in a haunted house, right? Listen to this, picture this, small town in Ireland, Church of England church, right? Ireland got its independence, people stopped using the church, it became a ruin, right? So the council took it over and said, does anyone want to buy this site and build a house? And everybody said, no, that house will be haunted, right? So they had to slash the price at a site, and my dad bought the site and built a house, right? Haunted house. But I was talking to the town planner a couple of years ago, and he said he still believes to this day my dad spread that rumor. <laughs> you know? But my dad was also an undertaker, right? And I asked him, did he ever fuck up a funeral, right? And he said one Tuesday morning he did a funeral, and he got home and he was like, I've forgotten something. You know that feeling? He, I was like, forgotten. And he remembered, he forgot to pick up the widow to bring her to the funeral. So I was like, what did you do? And he goes, I dug him back up. And we buried him again the next day, right? And I was like, what did, how did the priest, what did the priest say? And he said, the priest kept taking the piss. He started the funeral by saying, it feels like only yesterday. <laughs> we were gathered here. But uh, I was reading this thing in the metro today, right? Now, it was in the metro, so I don't know if it was true, right? And it was about dating. And it said, when women go on a first date, their number one fear is that they will get murdered. <laughs> is that true, girls? Yeah, someone's saying, someone's saying, yeah, someone's saying. Do you know what men's number one fear was? That the woman would be overweight. Uh, I was reading that, and all I was thinking was, I've never had sex with a man, but it must be pretty fucking amazing that you're all willing to risk murder for it. <laughs> but men, men are fuckers, right? All the bad things men do to women and then have the fucking gall to show up to a first date and be all like, oh my God, I hope this bitch isn't fat. <laughs> oh, if you are a woman and you do not hate men, I can't respect you. <laughs> if I was a woman, I would be in a terrorist organization. <laughs> Just running around shooting cocks off. That's what I've been doing. But uh, I, 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 work in, I work in healthcare, right? And I work, I work with a lot of elderly people, right? And you have to be really careful with elderly people, right? Because I recently went on a first date and an old woman recognized me from work and she came up to me on my date and she put her hand on my shoulder and she went, Jesus, I nearly didn't recognize you there with your clothes on. <laughs> now, what she meant was she didn't recognize me with my non-work clothes on. <laughs> but the fucking damage was done. <laughs> Have you ever tried to convince someone <laughs> you don't fuck grannies? <laughs> <laughs> an hour of denying it, I started to doubt myself, you know, and now I can't watch porn on my phone, because when I load it up, it comes up, the following videos have been suggested for your viewing, and I'm like, why would I want to watch Nursing Home or G4 when I haven't seen one, two or three yet? Uh, I haven't been home to Ireland because of the pandemic, but the last time I was at home, right, I was at a train station and someone put the timetable up on a set of automatic doors. So when people walked up to read it, the door opened and the timetable moved away from them, right? Now, if I saw that in any other country in the world, I would know that that was staff incompetence. But in Ireland, that's just someone having the crack. <laughs> and no one got upset. Everyone just sat down to film the next person. <laughs> but uh, when I was in Ireland too, I was in a bar and an old man turned to an old woman and said, what is love? 
And she said, it's an itchy feeling you get around your heart that you can't scratch with your fingernail. <laughs>